Hey everybody, this is Coach D here with TackleTrading.com. Want to go through a quick how-to video on multiple time frame analysis. And I have a great example for you from this week's scouting report. We've got an awesome little stock pick here on BK. That's Bank of New York Mellon. And uh, we've got a nice little breakout here. So I'm going to break down the daily chart for you and tell you why I'm interested in this trade in the first place. Then we're going to do some multiple time frame analysis to see if the longer time frame confirms what we're looking at and if the shorter time frame also confirms what we're looking at. So we're on a daily chart. And what I see on this chart that I like is we've got this nice little breakout here on good momentum up above this kind of 50 to $52 price zone. This is a nice little support resistance area. and We see it establish a new swing high. We can also see that the price is broken up above this 200 period SMA. That's a nice little breakout point for traders. And we have a little retracement here. And we had really good volume on the run up. And then we see the volume kind of waning during the sell off. So we're not seeing a lot of heavy selling there. And the reason we like this is because we believe that that retest off of that support resistance zone here near 52. And we see the price pull down to that and old resistance can become new support. And we believe prices could run and there's an opportunity for us to profit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to back this out into a weekly time frame. So I'm going to go look at about oh, a five year weekly chart just to bring in some history so you can see this in context. And we can see that overall over the last five years we have a nice bullish trend on average and then the price action just came down and hit this big $45 ballpark support resistance neighborhood and that we have a bullish W pattern here and we see that same breakout on the W and we see it trading above all the moving averages on that weekly time frame. And then down here, I've got a MACD indicator that confirms a buy signal, and I got a stochastics indicator with a divergence and a buy signal. So the weekly chart actually confirms that this has a potential bullish bias. Now, that's not a guarantee, but we see the bullishness, we see the support zone, we see the breakout, we see the W pattern. We see that, you know, that W breakout pattern, we like that. That's winner, winner, chicken dinner. So the weekly chart looks great. Now let's take the same time frame and we'll break that down into the last, oh, I'm going to take it to about 20 days and then I'm going to switch the time frame here down to about 30 minutes or so. And uh, 20 days, good. 30 minutes just gives me a nice little intraday time frame. You can go, you know, larger or smaller on that time frame. And we already know the daily chart context where we think it's going to bounce off of that kind of $52 support resistance zone. And what I see here is a slowing momentum pattern on the drop. So that slowing momentum pattern indicates that the selling pressure is lightening up a little bit. We're seeing some demand kick in here. We can also see an inverted head and shoulders pattern forming here. And that would be your left shoulder. This would be your head. That would be your right shoulder. And we're looking for a breakout here above the neckline. So we're looking for a breakout. Okay. And so for the day traders, we're looking for that to break above resistance. And that is, in essence, confirming what we thought about that daily time frame. We can see we got, we're getting a MACD buy signal. We have an oscillator divergence and a stochastics buy signal. And again, if we get a breakout above that uh, resistance point, we're now making new highs again. And this little downward trend channel, that little correction retracement is being violated and is now over. So we use three different time frames to help us confirm that we have a potential buying opportunity, which again, there's no guarantees that the price is going to run up, but we can use a controlled risk stop loss on that so that if instead of going up like we anticipate and the charts tell us that it, you know, if it goes down, we'll have an exit order. If you like this video and you want to learn more, click like, click share. And come over and join us and hang out with us over at TackleTrading.com. We have an amazing uh, pro subscription you can get a 15-day trial on. And you can become a member of our community and you can learn all of this stuff in detail. We have access to all the best content for you. We'll see you there.